Have you ever wondered why English speakers say they need to put up with something when they simply mean they'll tolerate it? The world of phrasal verbs can be a labyrinth of confusion and intrigue, especially those that start with the word put. Today we dive into some of these curious combinations, unraveling their meanings and demonstrating how they fit into everyday English. First up, put up. This phrasal verb can mean to tolerate or endure something. For instance, if someone says, I really can't put up with this noise anymore, they're expressing their frustration about enduring the noise. Moving on to put on. This is a versatile phrasal verb used commonly in daily conversation. It can mean to dress oneself in something, as in, he put on his coat and left the house. Additionally, put on can also mean to pretend something, which is quite handy in different contexts. For example, she put on a brave face at the party even though she was feeling unwell. Next, we have put off, which generally means to delay or postpone something. A practical usage could be, I keep putting off going to the dentist, but I really need to make an appointment. It encapsulates the universal habit of delaying tasks we find unpleasant. Put out is another phrasal verb that might sound a bit odd at first. It often means to extinguish something like a fire or a cigarette. For example, he put out the campfire before we left the site. Additionally, it can mean to inconvenience someone slightly, as in, I hope asking for a ride doesn't put you out. Then there's put away, which simply means to place something in its proper place. In everyday use, one might say, please put away your shoes after you take them off. It's a polite request for maintaining tidiness. Put together is particularly interesting. It means to assemble or construct something. In a sentence, you might hear, we spent the afternoon putting together the new bookshelf. It suggests the act of building or compiling components into a whole. Lastly, let's explore put across, meaning to communicate or convey an idea effectively. In practice, you might use it as, he put across his point very eloquently during the meeting, highlighting the successful delivery of a message or idea. To quickly recap, today we explored several phrasal verbs, starting with put, including put up, put on, put off, put out, put away, put together, and put across. Each of these verbs serves a unique function in everyday English, helping speakers convey actions and ideas with nuance and precision. Whether you're putting on your shoes, putting off a task, or putting together furniture, these phrases enrich your English communication, adding layers of meaning with just a few words. Remember, mastering these can not only enhance your vocabulary, but also polish your conversational skills. So next time you hear someone say they need to put away their groceries, you'll know exactly what they mean.